What's going on everybody, this is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, recapping the news from yesterday and throwing in a little bit more, but before we jump into things, if you got a second, like always, hit this video with a thumbs up, it goes a long ways, it helps grow this channel, and like always, greatly appreciate it. Now if you're not subscribed yet, hit the red button just below this video. As for the brands featured in this video, we have Puma, Adidas, Nike, and Jordan brand. Now, without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into the news. Starting things off, we're going to talk about The Weeknd and his upcoming signature shoe with Puma. Now, we've known for some time now that a collaboration would release, we just didn't know when. And also, there has been some images that leaked, and he's also been seen wearing them during concerts. Puma has yet to officially announce the details, however, The Weeknd has said they will drop on August 24th. Adidas just announced the release details for the Alpha Bounce Reflective Pack, which comes in three colorways of black, silver, silver or tan. The trio will drop on July 28th and retail price will be 110 each. Norse Projects has another collaboration with Adidas Consortium and they're going to drop a two pair pack known as the Layers Pack. Inspiration comes from Danish outdoors and proper layering techniques. The two models included will be the Adidas Campus and the Adidas Terex. Using neutral colors they feature Gore-Tex weather coating on the uppers while the Terex will feature Gore-Tex on the liner and a nylon upper. Now the Adidas Campus Campus 80s, they'll come with prime knit across the base. As for the release date, they're going to drop on August 9th at Norse Projects and NorseProjects.com. A global launch at select Adidas Consortium resellers will take place on August 19th. Retail price for the Campus 80s is 150 while the Terex will cost you 170 a couple Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 samples has leaked. One comes in Midnight Navy while the other comes in Gold. Kind of has like a wheat look to them. Coming in your traditional build, they feature Prime Knit across the uppers. The Midnight Navy pair features Midnight Navy across the uppers as well the laces, and on the midsole. Same deal with the gold pair. Now, these aren't expected to release. However, I like the Midnight Navy pair, and I even like the gold slash wheat pair. And it's rumored that these are a one of one. Now, if you're watching this and you like either of the two, let me know in the comments section which pair you would pick, either the Midnight Navy or the gold slash wheat. Nike, along with Doran Becker, has announced their 2017 designers. Now, they didn't say which Nike models or Air Jordans will release, but that information won't come until October, and then a release usually takes place in November. Now, that information isn't confirmed, but that's just going off past releases. If you want to see the designers, along with some of their background history, I'll leave a link in the description below pointing you to sneakerfiles.com. Another Nike LeBron 14 Low has popped up. This pair can actually be matched with either an alternate Cleveland Cavaliers jersey, and it also has an Olympic feel. Now, Midnight Navy covers the uppers. We do have metallic gold that lands on the Nike swoosh and LeBron branding. Red on the back heel pull tab, speckled detailing on the midsole, and a translucent outsole. No release date as of yet. They're going to drop sometime in August, and the retail price will be $150. We have some release information for the Nike Air Max 2 up tempo in white in black. Now the look obviously features a simple theme, but they feature mesh, leather, and new buck throughout. In addition, we have a Phylon midsole and a visible 180 degree Max Air unit. For those that want to grab these, they'll be available at select Nike Sportswear retailers on August 1st, and the retail price will be $140. Another Nike Airshake Indestruct will drop during August. This pair features gym red across the uppers, which is constructed with leather. As you can see, there's also white use that runs across the midsole and outsole. Just a clean, simple look. And for those that want to pick these up, August 1st is the date on this pair as well, and the retail price will be $140. Not a bad look overall, just the white outsole does kind of kill it for me. And with the other OG releases potentially going on sale, I probably would pick those up instead. The Nike Cortez celebrates its 45th anniversary this year, and we've seen so many damn releases, it's almost hard to keep up with them. But coming soon is the Nike Cortez Jewel with a gradient swoosh. Now this pair features a cream, almost off-white leather across the uppers, and then shades of blue along with green and a bit of white are seen across the Nike Jewel swoosh, and that has a gradient finish. Following, we have white on the midsole, a blue stripe running across it, and black on the outsole. As for release details or a retail price, there isn't any available as of yet, but they're going to release later this year. London-based The Basement is teaming up with Nike Sportswear 
to release a pair of the Nike Dunk Low. Founded in December 2013, The Basement is a London-based collective connecting the city's young creatives through inclusive online and offline platforms. Bounded by their passion for culture and community, its members, who come from a range of backgrounds, organize meetups using Facebook groups and local spaces. Following the series of films titled Real People Do Real Things, which highlights nine members of the basement, comes the reveal of the Nike Dunk Low Basement. The shoes will feature canvas, corduroy, denim, and leather to reflect the diversity of the youth within and supported by the basement. Additional design details include a new basement swoosh logo on the tongue, footbed and hill as well as reflective embroidered mini swoosh on the lateral side of the toe. The basement logo, a series of lines representing nine rungs of a ladder is also reflective and embroidered on the lateral side of the hill. All proceeds from the shoe will go toward the Youth Futures organization which currently provides mentorship programming to London youth in addition to space for meals and doing homework. The Nike Dunk Low Basement will release exclusively at the Basement Nike Pop-Up Shop in London on July 29th. The pop-up shop address will be announced on the morning of July 29th via Basement Channels, meaning you would probably need to follow them on Twitter, Facebook, etc. Nike Lab just unveiled details for the Nike Flyknit Trainer Cookies and Cream release. So this is actually going to be somewhat of a limited drop and We've shown this shoe before, but just really quick, the Cookies and Cream nickname is from the white and black use throughout. And as for the build, they feature Flyknit, of course, as well as Flywire cables. They're first going to release on July 27th at Nike Plus, the Sneakers app, Nike Lab, and select Nike Sportswear retailers in Europe. On August 24th, select North America retailers will have them, and the retail price will be $150. I'm not really feeling this pair, I just don't understand why they're releasing it this way, but I've noticed that a handful of drops from Nike, they're scattering out the release date. Maybe that's a way for them to kind of hype the release up though. We have some new information on the Nike Air More Uptempo Knicks, and this pair is inspired by the battles between the Chicago Bulls and the New York Knicks. Now they feature a clean white base, and then blue is used on the large air. We do have a bit of orange, well it's probably bright crimson, but we don't have the specifics as far as a color description, and that lands on the Nike swoosh on the tongue and midsole as well as being applied to the air unit. Also the number 33 will be seen on the hill, which pays tribute to Scottie Pippen as well as Patrick Hewitt. So the release date is August 1st and the retail price is 130 That isn't your standard price because this is a grade school release. As of now, it's not confirmed that it's going to release exclusively for kids, but that's all the information we have. And on a side note, I highly doubt these will be a grade school exclusive. I think they're going to release for adults as well, and I hope they do. For anyone that's been subscribed to this channel for a while knows I'm a huge fan of the Nike Kobe Mamba Curio line. I had a feeling that the brand would release a shoe inspired by the Mamba Curio series soon and we have a first look which is a huge letdown of the Nike Kobe AD NXT. Now I say it's a huge letdown because it doesn't feature any pink and I think that really drives the model. However it does have turquoise which kind of pops and that lands on the Nike swoosh and the large Nike block branding on the medial side. And it looks like dark blue is actually being used across the midsole and the translucent heel counter. So as for the release details, we don't have any. They're going to drop sometime later this year, but the retail price will be 200 This is a huge pass for me. I hope they do like last year where they actually dropped two versions and the second one will be more vibrant, but we'll see. This next bit of news, I didn't really know where to put it in the video because it not only features Jordan brand, but it features Adidas and Nike. So I'm going to throw it in with Jordan brand because the Jordan brand news is kind of low today. And I wouldn't exactly call this a restock, although many are calling it that. But the GOAT app is actually doing a promotion that's called GOAT Summer, which is offering sold out shoes available at retail. So some of the shoes that will be available at retail if you win is the OVO Air Jordan 12s, the Cause Air Jordan 4, Bape Adidas NMDs, Public School Air Jordan 12s, a couple Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2s as well as the V1 and more. If you want to purchase, you're going to have to win them actually. So here is the deal. Each person will have up to 100 entry tickets to start. If you're an early GOAT member, then you'll receive an additional 250 raffle tickets. You can also earn 25 more tickets by sharing the promotion on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and if there's any other social media accounts I'm missing. The drawing will officially close at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time this Thursday, July 27th. 
In order to partake in this, you'll need to have the app or upgrade to the latest version. Now, in order to buy at retail, what you'll need to do is place your raffle tickets on a particular shoe. For example, if I want to win the OVO Air Jordan 12 in black, I'll need to dump at least one ticket on there. The more tickets you put on the shoe, the higher the chance you have to purchase. But that's it, and good luck for those that are trying. The Air Jordan 31 Low in triple black, also being called black and metallic gold, is dropping this week. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get my hands on these to do a review, but they feature black throughout, Flyweave starts the shoe off while a tumbled leather wraps the hill, and the Jumpman branding debossed. In addition, we have metallic gold that stripes just above the midsole, and I actually think these are the best Air Jordan 31 lows to release. Very simple, but I think that gold really does it for me. Now, if you want to grab these, July 28th is the date, and the retail price will be $160. Earlier in the week, I gave you a first look at the Air Jordan 5 Premium being called Wine, and today we have a detailed look. So across the uppers, we do have leather, and the whole shoe is almost completely covered in wine. It could be like a burgundy type shade. And then we have tan on the liner, which is constructed with leather as well as quilted stitching. In addition, we have slits across the panels, which resembles that of mesh. The insoles will feature leather as well as quilted stitching. In a few of these images, the liner and the insole actually look looks like it's more wheat than it would be tan, but the whole color description isn't confirmed. Completing the look is a translucent outsole. No release details, expected to drop either fall or winter 2017, but the retail price will be 400. Previously I said I didn't like these shoes. Now I'm still not going to buy them, but I will say that these are the best premium Air Jordan 5 release so far. And that recaps the news, like always we post it first on sneakerfalls.com and then we take it to YouTube. So what I'm feeling for this video, the Nike LeBron 14 Low in Midnight Navy, that's another release I kind of like. I think it's just the gold because gold, for some reason, draws me to the shoes. Or any shoe for that matter because I do want the Air Jordan 31 Low in black and gold. And I think that's a very simple look, but the gold just really does it. The Nike Air More Up Tempo NYX, if they drop in adult sizing, which I do believe they will, that's a definite pickup. The Nike Dunk Low Basement, I think that pair looks nice, but I won't buy those just because they're going to be so limited and buying on the aftermarket, I'm sure the prices will be high. But that's it for me. Leave a comment below and let me know what you liked or what you disliked. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.